The foldable smartphone market is about to get a lot more interesting as new details emerge about Apple's first ever foldable iPhone. Today we're diving into some fascinating information about what could be the most innovative hinge design we've seen in a foldable device. According to renowned analyst Ming Chi Kuo, Apple is planning to use liquid metal for the hinge mechanism in their upcoming foldable iPhone. This isn't just another technical specification, it's a game-changing approach that could solve one of the biggest problems plaguing foldable phones, the dreaded display crease. What makes this particularly interesting is how Apple plans to manufacture the hinge. They'll be using a die-casting process that's specifically designed to enhance screen flatness and minimize those annoying crease marks we've seen on devices from Samsung, Google and other manufacturers. While Apple has previously used liquid metal in small components like SIM ejector pins, this will be their first large-scale implementation of the material. For this ambitious project, Apple has partnered exclusively with Dongwen Eon Tech to supply the liquid metal components. This partnership suggests Apple is serious about ensuring the highest quality for this crucial component. But the innovations don't stop at the hinge. The foldable iPhone is shaping up to be an impressive device overall. We're looking at a 7.8-inch main display when unfolded, paired with a 5.5-inch cover display. These dimensions suggest Apple might be following a similar form factor to the Google Pixel Fold, but with a book-style design more reminiscent of Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold series. One of the most impressive aspects of this device is its thickness most or rather its thinness. When unfolded the device is expected to measure just 4.5 millimeters, potentially making it Apple's thinnest device ever. When folded it will be approximately 9.5 millimeters thick, which is still quite reasonable for a foldable device. In terms of features, Apple seems to be taking an interesting approach with the camera setup. The foldable iPhone will reportedly sport a dual rear camera system and a single front-facing camera. Perhaps more surprisingly, Apple is choosing to go with Touch ID in the home button rather than Face ID, similar to their iPad Air and iPad Mini approach. As for when we might actually see this device, current reports suggest mass production will begin in the last quarter of 2026, pointing to an early 2027 launch. While this might seem far off, it's typical of Apple to take their time perfecting new technology before bringing it to market. This attention to detail and focus on solving existing problems in the foldable market shows Apple's commitment to getting their first foldable device right. Rather than rushing to market, they're taking the time to address the issues that have plagued other manufacturers' foldable devices. What are your thoughts on Apple's approach to their first foldable iPhone? Are you excited about the liquid metal hinge solution, or are you more interested in the ultra-thin design? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you want to stay updated with the latest Apple news and leaks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.